welcome to this third lecture on the Stuart Kings of Edward. In this short video, our focus will be on Oliver Cromwell, his Commonwealth and the Protectorate. As we did in the other two videos, we will first focus on the highlights, the Stuart monarchs, and as is uh, given there, the focus of uh, this particular session will be the period from 1649, the death of uh, Charles I of uh, England, Stuart Monarch, and Oliver Cromwell's Commonwealth. 1649, we see the end of the Civil War, followed by the execution of Charles I. Now it's uh, time for the Parliament rule in England. England is now ruled by a Parliament, which is actually a ghost of the former self, the earlier Parliament, because here the Royalists did not attend the Parliament, and the Presbyterians they were excelled. You'll remember the purge pride. So the new government of England is governed or is controlled by the parliament and the council of state so they were in power this unit was in power for the next four years however the real power was with oliver cromwell and his army this is a time when england is without a monarch and so the rest of the world was not prepared to accept the fact that England is a republic. The two neighboring areas, Scotland and Ireland, they did not accept the governance by Oliver Cromwell. And so they decided to accept Charles II, the son of Charles I, as their liege lord as their king who won't be having direct control or direct presence in the, their land but he will be overseeing the situations there so charles the second was accepted as the liege lord in scotland and ireland in the new world virginia and also west indies declare charles the second as their master so now it is the task of uh, Oliver Cromwell to prove to the world that England is a republic and he is the protector. Cromwell has to control Ireland. He directly goes there. After nine months of harsh rule, Ireland is subjugated. Now, Prince Charles has an acceptance in Scotland. So in May 1650, he arrives in Scotland and he is crowned as Charles II of Scotland and England. At this time, Cromwell and his forces, they were in Ireland. Without taking a break and with an army that is uh, really worn out, Cromwell reaches Scotland and he defeats the Scottish forces. His army, they were well trained, well disciplined. So, in spite of the hard military endeavors they had just before in Ireland, they managed to defeat the forces in Scotland. In 1651, there is another battle, a battle between the English Puritans. As we know, Cromwell heads the Puritan faction. So, the English Puritans fight the Scottish Covenanters, the Presbyterians. And here also, victory is for the English. Charles understands that it is not safe for him to be in England or in Scotland. So he retreats to France and remains as a royal refugee there till 1660. Cromwell now realizes the necessity to build a navy. The only navy in England was the royalist fleet and that was under the control of Rupert the navy of Charles I. And so the Royalist Navy had control over the English Channel. Now Cromwell decides to build up his own navy 
and he authorizes Sir Henry Wayne with this task. Robert Blake, who is a Republican admiral, he takes lead of the Navy and he captures control of the English Channel from the Royalist Prince of Perth. Blake's soldiers, they land in Virginia and they bring the land under control. That is another force which Cromwell had to reckon. There is a need to control the Dutch supremacy of the seas because the Dutch, they were traders, sailors and they had much power over the seas. Just like uh, the Tudor kings, Oliver Cromwell in 1651, he passes the Navigation Act. According to this, all goods imported to the British Isles, that is to be brought in ships manned by the British. That's in the acceptable Allah. Karam, Averade, Kapirgilana, Averade, Palasavatin exports in Arakno. How Cromwell took a very strong decision on this and that led to the Dutch war with England for the next three years. And that was a damage to the Dutch economy. Now about Cromwell and his parliament. We have already seen how Cromwell got his soldiers to remove the rump parliament and now he nominates a parliament for England. The members of this parliament were God-fearing Puritans and they were, they had a leader, praise God, Barebone. So this parliament was nicknamed as a Barebone's parliament. This is a time which is marked as the rule of saints. We should then marry the parliament. Cromwell in the parliament, all Puritan leaders are they have expected to see the Puritan doctrines and concepts in England the general day. But Cromwell was disappointed. The parliament was very revolutionary in outlook and it even wanted to abolish practices of tithing. They even then allegal public, Varimana, the Patron, the Kuruka, Yenikola, Kiringal, Protestants, and Puritans were rather strong at holding. But she parliament to one the poll, Adela. So in 1653, the parliament relinquishes its office. The army draws up the instrument of government. That's why Cromwell is a protector. Council of Ministers, But actually, the real power is in the hands of the protector, backed by it, supported by the army. So with this, England becomes a presidential republic and not a parliamentary republic. Now let's see details about the protectorate of Oliver Brown. Cromwell is the first and last dictator of England. Tanya Kursen and Cromwell in order to reach Maridana, he is a good constable set by divine providence to keep the peace of the parish. Land in the Devatan Nimi Kapata, Uri Pradesh, Parish and Ulada, Namada, Edavaga and the Nidrani Bade, Tajimulan. Abade, Niamangala, Pangyata, Narathuan. They even the image we can put in a constable. Other than the Cromwell in the Nigamanimal and Sindhagadigalum, that is not different from the Stuart monarchs and their divine right of kings. Cromwell is either in the Nalla British Isles in the Parapartical Paranatil representation. So Scotland, Wales, and Ireland, the Lam. Our daily representation parliament in Octag and Abega Mashuri. Pinida other Nashtapur to England. England in the parliamentary policy, the Pinida United Kingdom at the Fonji report. 
ഈ ഒരു ആശയമാണ് അതിലുണ്ടായിരുന്നത് ഇൻ ജാനുവരി സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് ക്രോംവൽ ഡിസ്മിസ് ദ പാർലമെന്റ് വീണ്ടും സെക്കൻഡ് ഒരു പാർലമെന്റ് വിളിച്ചുകൂട്ടി തേർഡ് പാർലമെന്റ് വിളിച്ചുകൂട്ടി അതെല്ലാം എന്താ ഡെഫിറ്റ് ക്രോംവലിന്റെ താല്പര്യം മനസ്സിലെത്തി നിൽക്കുന്നില്ല സോ ഹി വിൽ ഡിസ്മിസ് ദ പാർലമെന്റ് and he tried to reform the national morals and manners pala niyamangal kondu madhyabich aalkar narakkirathu dwanda yuddhangal cock fighting horse riding idella narakki the theaters were closed down england in the literary history le veli oru naadiyathella undu kanna elizabethan kaalathe theaters endra mathram flourish cheyidu ennu nammal padichittund theaters ellam shut down cheyidu kanna theaters ella janangale arasan ba raakunu തെറ്റായ ചിന്തകൾ ജനങ്ങളുടെ മനസ്സിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരുന്നത് എന്നെല്ലാമാണ് ക്രോമൻ സോ ദിസ് ടൈം വാസ് വെരി ലിറ്റിൽ ഓഫ് ആർട്ടിസ്റ്റിക് എന്റർടൈൻമെന്റ് ഓർ ലിറ്ററി എന്റർടൈൻമെന്റ് ഇൻ ദ ലാൻഡ് ദീസ് മെഷേഴ്സ് കോസ്റ്റ് പീപ്പിൾ ടു ഹെയ്റ്റ് ക്രോമൽ ആൻഡ് ദ പ്യൂർ ടെൻഡർ റിലീജിയസ് മാറ്റേഴ്സില് ക്രോമലിന്റെ നിലപാടുകൾ വളരെ നല്ല ചില കാര്യങ്ങളുണ്ട് യു നോ ഹിസ് എ പ്യൂരിട്ടൻ is very strong religious person but he practiced religious tolerance pala protestant sects avade undu the anglicans the presbyterians and so on they all were tolerated and puritans mathramayittulla oru vyavasthi alla cromwell chintisu and even the catholics valare harsh aayittulla persecution suffer cheyidana avaru and they were not harshly persecuted during the time of cromwell at this time we have the rise of uh, george fox and the quakers or pratheka religious sect aanu ivaru george fox vishwasichirunnathu adu like quakers ante chindagadi war and the practice of physical force is wrong and they were ready to die for their principles pin avarku oru reethi undu avar onnich aaradhanikka therikkumbol ആരോടെങ്കിലും ഇപ്പൊ ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു പ്രീച്ചറിന്റെ നിലപാട് തെറ്റാണെങ്കിൽ ദേ വിൽ ജസ്റ്റ് സ്പീക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഔട്ട് ദേ വിൽ ക്രിറ്റിസൈസ് ഓപ്പൺലി മറ്റുള്ളവര് ഈ ക്വൈക്കേഴ്സിനെ ഒരു വിചിത്രമായ രീതിയിലാണ് കണക്കാക്കിയിരുന്നത് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദ പ്രാക്ടീസസ് ബട്ട് ക്രോം വിൽ പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റഡ് ദ ക്വൈക്കേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ ലീഡർ ജോർജ് ഫോക്സ് ടു എ ലാർജ് എക്സ്റ്റെന്റ് ലൈക്ക് മെനി റൂളേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് Cromwell also had to deal with Spain. He revived the anti-Spain attitude in England and he demanded that Englishmen should not be molested in the Spanish Inquisition. Spain is a religious site that 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 is the Spanish Inquisition. But this is a religious site that is a religious site that is a religious site that is a religious site. So, Cromwell is a religious site that is a religious site. ഇംഗ്ലണ്ടുകാരെ സ്പാനിഷ് ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷനിൽ നിങ്ങൾ ഉപദ്രവിക്കാൻ പാടില്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഞങ്ങൾ റിട്ടാലിയേറ്റ് ആൻഡ് യു റിമെമ്പർ അഡ്മിറൽ ബ്ലേക്ക് ഹു വാസ് ഹെഡിങ് ദ നേവി ഹി ബ്ലോക്ക് ദ സ്പാനിഷ് ദ ഫോർസ് ആൻഡ് ക്രോമൽ എൻറ്റേഡ് ഇൻ യു ട്രീറ്റി വിത്ത് ഫ്രാൻസ് ആൻഡ് ജോയിൻലി ദ അറ്റാക്ക് ദ സ്പാനിഷ് ആർമി ദ ടൗൺ ഓഫ് ഡൺക്കർ ഇൻ നെതർലാൻഡ്സ് വിച്ച് ബിലോങ് ടു സ്പെയിൻ ബിക്കിൻ ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട്സ് പൊസിഷൻ in 1658 we have the death of oliver cromwell and his son richard cromwell becomes the new protector paksha richard father ne pole vele kadivillatha aala he summons the parliament she parliament pala karyangalum adegathode cheyanam ennu avashyapettu and in 1659 richard was forced to give up authority so now england is without a ruler things could have gone into a very difficult situation here pakshi ibada vanna oral general monk he is not even an englishman he is a commander in scotland he reaches london with his army england ne pidichedukkanalla london ne aakramikkanalla london il england il oru law and order operate and the general monk he called in the parliament in 1660 adeyam pidichu the parliament charles the first in the kalathe aa parliament le members kanade pidichu kerala 
and this this parliament is called the convention parliament and england le parliament vilikendra raja avan ipo raja avilla appo adu kondu conventionally parliament ne vilichu kutiya and uh, this parliament takes decision that the commonwealth is to be dissolved and there should be restoration monarchy is to be restored this on the 29th of may 1660 charles lands in england he signs the declaration of breda and ascends the throne as charles the second the constitutional monarch of england thank you